نحمد ہوں وسلی اللہ رسول ہل کریم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شاہلی سودری و یسرلی عمری واہل العقدم ملسانی یفق ہو قولی وجا علی وزیر من آہلی اللہ فکح ناف الدین آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹرانسلیشن سورت البقرہ ورس ون ففٹی سیون دوز آ دا پیپل علی ہم الا اپون ہم دم اپون دم سلواتن آر واٹ اپون دم آر واٹ سلوات اور بلیسنگس من فرام ربی ہم دیر لوڈ دیر رب دیر سسٹینر و رحمتن اینڈ مرسی و الا اکا اینڈ دوز آر ہوم دے المحتدون ہا دال یا This is the root word and it means guidance. Muhtadun means those are the people who get, those are the ones who obtain or who get guidance. Or those are the ones who are the guided. Repeating this verse 157, Ula'ika, those are alayhim upon them salawatun, Blessings mirwabbihim from their Lord wa rahmatun and mercy wa ula'ika and those are humul muhtadun. They are those who obtain or who acquire guidance. Verse 158. Inna, indeed, for sure, as-safa. Safa is the name of a mountain and because of Alif Lam at the start, it shows that it is a proper noun. The Mount of Safa, Wal Marwata and the Mount of Marwa. Min from Sha'airillah. Sha'air is the plural of Sha'ira and Sha'ira means symbols, signs, or certain symbolic rituals. Sha'airillah means are the symbolics or symbolic rituals of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Faman, fa, so, or thus, man, whoever, hajja. Hajja is a perfect word And it is for the third person masculine. He, Hajja means he made the major pilgrimage. He made Hajj. He performed Hajj. Faman Hajja, thus whoever he performed Hajj, Al-Bayta, of what? Of the house. It is not a common noun. If it had been baitun, it would have been a common noun. It is al-baita. Alif Lam at the start shows that it is a proper noun. The house. And this house is whose house? The house of Allah. Khana Kaaba. Avi'tamara. Au means or. I'tamara. Ain mim ra. Umara means the minor pilgrimage or the minor hajj. Ve'atamara or he performed or he performed, he made the umrah or the minor pilgrimage. Fala, fazabarfa, thus or so, la, no, junaha. Junaha means blame, 
accusation or a sin fala junaha so or thus no blame alaihi upon him an that yattawafa tawafa means to go round and around to circumscribe to move in the form of a circle so yatawafa the ya at the start of the word shows that it is an imperfect verb and it is for the third person masculine singular yatawafa he makes tawaf he goes around he makes a circle bihima bazir b in or with hima is a pronoun for dual form between the two of them bihima between the two of them wa and man whoever tatawa tau means to desire to wish to uh, to do something voluntarily and out of will to do something tatawa this is a perfect word for the third person masculine singular he voluntarily desires he does out of will he does out of desire wa man tatawa and whoever he voluntarily does or does out of will or desire khairan any good fa inna thus or then indeed allahu allah is shakirun alimun shakirun is uh is an attribute of allah subhanahu wa taala the root word being sheen kafra shakara means to be obliged to be grateful to acknowledge and to be appreciative so shakirun is an attribute of allah meaning that he is appreciative he acknowledges alimun is ever knowing so now repeating verse 158 in the safa wal marwata indeed the mount of safa and the mount of marwa min sha'irillahi from the symbolic rituals of allah from the symbols of allah faman hajjal baita so or thus whoever he performs or he makes umrah or the major uh, hajj or the major pilgrimage of the house aver tamara or he makes or performs the minor pilgrimage or umrah fala junaha thus no blame thus no no sin alayhi upon him an that yatawafa bihima he circles he goes around in between the two of them the pronoun hima here is pointing towards safa and marwa the two mountains waman tatawa and whoever he voluntarily did he did out of will or desire hairan any good any any uh, rewarding deed fa inna allah thus allah thus indeed allah is shakirun is appreciative is acknowledging and alimun ever knowing verse 159 inna indeed allazina those who yaktumuna kaf ta mim means to hide to conceal knowingly a person knows 
and very much knowingly voluntarily the person tries to hide or to conceal something ya at the start shows that it is an imperfect verb and vow noon at the end shows that it is for the plural form so it is an imperfect verb for the third person masculine plural they hide they knowingly conceal ma what anzalna noon zalam means to send down anzal is a perfect verb for the first person masculine on and the na at the end shows that it is for the plural form anzalna we sent down min from al bayyinati bayyinat means clear proofs clear cut symbols wal huda and guidance mim from ba'di after ma what bayyanahu bayyan ba ya noon means something which is clear bayyanna we made clear who it so bayyanahu means we made it clear linnasi lamzerli for annasi the people fi in al kitabi the book ulaika those are whom yal ana humullah lam ain na noon means curse yal anuhum the ya at the start shows that it is an imperfect verb for the third person masculine singular he curses them and who curses them allah yal anhumullah allah he curses them wa yal anhum and he curses them allah inun those who curse la in is the singular is the person who curses and la inun is the plural of la in now repeating 159 in alazina indeed those who yaktumuna they conceal or they knowingly hide ma anzalna what we have sent down minal bayyinati from the clear cut proofs from the clear cut verses wal huda and the guidance mim ba'di from after ma bayyannahu what we made clear we made it clear linnasi for the mankind for the people fil kitabi in the book ulaika those are those are whom yal anhumullahu allah curses them wa yal anhumullahun and curse them curses them all those who curse words number 160 illa except other than allazina those who tabu taba means to repent to seek forgiveness tabu because of the wow alif at the end is for the plural form and it is a perfect verb for the third person plural they seek forgiveness they ask for forgiveness or they have repented wa aslahu swad lam ha to correct something to make a reform aslihu is again a perfect verb for the third person masculine plural they have corrected they have made reforms 
wabayanu, and they make clear. They make something very clear cut. Faulaika, thus or so, they are those who atubu. Atubu, the alif at the start makes it an imperfect word for the first person singular. Atubu, I, I turn upon them. I accept forgiveness from them. I forgive them. I respond to them. I turn upon them. Alayhim upon them. Atubu, I turn, I turn, I accept forgiveness. I forgive. Alayhim upon them. Wa and ana, I attawab rahim. Tawab is an attribute of Allah where he accepts the tawbah and he accepts the forgiveness and he grants or accepts the repentance. at tawab extremely accepting of repentance of forgiveness. Ar-Rahim, the most merciful. Now, repeating verse 1, 60 again, illa lazina tabu, except or other than those who seek forgiveness or those who have repented, wa aslihu, and they have made correction or they have made reforms, wa bayunu, and they have made clear cut. Faulaika, so those are they who atubu, I turn, I accept forgiveness, alayhim upon them, wa'ana, and I, at am extremely accepting of repentance or forgiveness, ar-Rahimu, the ever-merciful. Verse 161, inna, indeed, alladhina, those who kafaru, kafara means to refuse, to fail to believe or accept. Kafaru is a perfect verb and vow alif at the end shows that it is for the third person masculine, plural. They disbelieved. Wa and matu. Mata means death. Matu again is a perfect word for the third person masculine plural because of the wow alif at the end. Wa matu and they died. Wa and whom they kuffarun. They were they were the disbelievers. And the shad on fa it shows that those who were disbelieving were disbelieving to the most ultimate form. To the greatest form. So kuffarun refers to those who are very obstinately or who are very stubbornly disbelieving. Ula'ika, those are whom alayhim upon them la'natullah, the curse of Allah. Wal-mala'ikati, and the angels, wan-nasi, and the people, ajma'een, all together. Now, repeating verse 161, inna lazina, indeed, those who kafaru, they disbelieved, wa matu, and they died, wa hum kuffarun, and they were, they stubbornly disbelieved, or they were those who stubbornly or obstinately disbelieved, ula'ika, they are those alayhim upon them laknatullahi the curse of Allah wal malaikati wan nas and the angels and the people ajma'in all together. Allahumma la taj'alna minhum. Allah do not make us among them. Verse 162 Ho Lam Dal means eternity 
being forever. Khalid is the person who has who remains eternally or who stays forever and khalidina is the plural form of khalid so khalidina are those who remain eternally or those who stay forever fiha in it la not you khaffafu khaffa ya means to decrease to get lesser or to be lightened ya at the start shows it is an imperfect verb for the third person masculine singular it will be decreased it will be it will get lesser it will be lightened la yukhaffu not will it be lightened not will it decrease anhum on them or from them al azabu punishment azab means punishment now it is al azabu that it is a proper noun it is not any punishment it is not a punishment it is the punishment and which is it referring to the punishment of hell fire or the punishment of the day of judgment wala hum and not will they yuzwarun noon zwara means to to look to be looked upon yunzuruna they will be looked at or they will be given a gap a pause or they will be given a time wala hum yunzurun and not will they be looked at and not will they be given a time or a period yunzurun is a passive form also repeating verse 162 khalidina fiha they are the ones who will remain eternally or who will stay forever in it la yukhaffafu and not will it decrease and not will it be lightened anhumul azabu from them the punishment wala hum yunzurun and not will they be given any time period or they will not be looked upon now let's just revise the lesson from the start from the first verse again so that all of you who have just like missed can catch up with all the missed words words 157 ulaika those are the ones who alayhim upon them salawatun are salawat or blessings mir rabbihim from their rabb or their sustainer wa rahmatun and mercy wa ulaika humul muhtadun and those are they who obtain or who acquire guidance or who are the guided ones verse 158 in the safa wal marwata indeed the mount of safa and the mount of marwa min sha'irillah from the symbols of allah faman hajjal baita so whoever he performs or he makes the major pilgrimage of the house aver tamara or he performs or makes the minor pilgrimage or umara fala junah alayhi thus or so no blame upon him ay yatawaffa bihima that he goes around or he circumscribes or he makes a circling motion in between the two of them wa man tatawwa and he whoever voluntarily did he did out of desire or sheer will khairan 
any good deed. Fa'innallaha. Thus, indeed, Allah is shakirun alimun, appreciative, acknowledging, and ever knowing. Verse 159. Inna lazina. Indeed, those who yaktumuna, they they hide or they conceal knowingly ma anzalna what we sent down minal bayinati from the clear cut proofs from the clear cut verses wal huda and guidance mim ba'di from after ma what bayannahu we made it clear linnasi for mankind for people fil kitabi in the book ulaika those are whom yal anhumullahu allah he curses them wa yal anhumullainun and curse them all those who curse verse number 160 illa lazina except or other than those who tabu they have repented they have asked for tawbah they have made tawbah they have asked for forgiveness wa aslahu and they have made correction and they have made reforms wa bayanu and they have made it clear fa ulaika so those are they atubu I turn, I respond, I accept alayhim upon them. Wa ana and I attawabu am extremely accepting of forgiveness and repentance a rahimu ever are extremely merciful. Verse 162 inna lazina kafaru indeed those who they disbelieved wa matu and they died wa hum kufarun and they were the ones who were stubbornly to disbelieve wa hum kufarun and they were the ones who obstinately disbelieve ulaika those are the ones alayhim upon them la'natullahi is the curse of allah wal malaikati wan nas and the angels and the people ajma'ina all together verse 162 khalidina fiha they are the ones who remain eternally fiha in it la not yukhaffafu, it will be decreased or it will be lightened. Anhumul adabu from them the punishment. Walahum yunzarun, and not will they be looked at, and not will they be given a time or some period. Sadaqallahul Azim.